Okay, so bone adding. I'm going to do something that I wanted to try a while ago, but was too lazy to. Because I can't think of anything that's worth my time to add bones to that I'm not just going to put in a folder and never use again. So, um, I'm going to try adding bones to those little particles. To those little particles of hair from Conan's hair bun. It might fail, but at least the bones will work if the physics fail. <laughs> yeah, so, first you have to make the bone. <coughs> Go here to the A and then P. That adds a new bone. You have to go to upset physics. Bone editing is here in the new PMD. It should have your bone selected. Wrong tab. Uh, I'm still not used to the new PMD editor. And I have to put all these zeros here because my tablet makes the controls go haywire. See, it, it went flying off the screen. That's too, too many. Let's see, it'll go a little faster. Then bring the bone to where you want, to the, to the object that you want to move. Oops, wrong way. Ah, uh, it's moving a little too fast. So yeah, I'm gonna hook it on this. If this actually works, I can add bones to all four. Eh. Eh. So that gives you one bone, however. You want one of these two, like on the end, but those aren't visible. So you go in here and check this tab. Now you can see them. I call them end bones, but I don't know what they're really called. Anyway, to add one, an end bone first. Let's name this um uh, bun hair one, I guess. I know that's retarded. Copy paste. Oh, make sure to attach this to the bone to the whatever you want to talk to. So this is the head. So. This bone needs to be attached to your head bone, which is this head. To add an end bone, go here, here, and then C. Then, when you oops, when you do this, you have your end bone, or at least a connecting bone. To be technical, uh, I'm doing the wrong. I shouldn't be making tutorials when it's so late. Okay, um, <laughs> there, there. To make it an end bone, you go to this one where it says 7, and now it's an end bone. Oops, it's too far in. I did it again. Uh, it must be retarded or something. Okay, so there. Now, to attach something to the bone, because now it doesn't move anything, it's just there. You get rid of this. This way does not work in old versions. Or if it does, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. And, um, yeah, I'll click here. Click this button, and that turns it on, but you need to make sure that this part is selected. Now you go on and press, like, here, and here, and that's it. That's really all there is to it. Of course, this percentage settings has to do with bending and stuff. I don't really get that stuff yet. Because, like, the, the body and stuff. You can't just do that with this kind of bone adding. It'll go glitchy. <laughs> but I'm working on figuring it out. When I do, I'll make another tutorial. Um, yeah, so then... Of course, this is going to go haywire because I'm using a tablet. I don't like this. There you go, you have a bone. Now to add physics. I can explain phys f physics pretty well. I mean, I get the boss. <laughs> I get the gist of it. I just don't get skirts and their weird physics that aren't attached to anything. So first, make a joint, or you can make the physic first, whatever. Move it down. Because I don't like things that are all over. Name it, oh, uh, I just call it, their paste. There. Simple. Attach it to the head, bone, head, 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 here. And there's nothing to attach it to there yet. But anyway, this is how far it will move. If you want it to not move much, like ears flopping gently, you'd put it at 5 or 10. If you want it to move a lot, like say robe or... Yeah, stuck. Stupid tablet is malfunctioning. You can't see my model now, but yeah. 
If you wanted to do something like hair, where you want it to be able to bend at sharp turns, you'd put it on things like 50 and 90. That's pretty much the angle it's able to bend at, so 90 is a 90 degree angle. If you do too much, though, on something like a coat, it'll spaz all over. So this is not something we want to move a lot, so I'm going to put it at 10. Negative first, always in the bottom. So 10, negative 10, 10, negative 10, 10. <laughs> That's good enough. <coughs> not moving the view. I'm not. I'm just never, never. <sighs> so this is basically where I was left off before my computer went haywire. You need to have this joint go to, and hook onto the bone. So I'll go to here. Dang it! I hate you, computer. Is there any way it automatically put it there? I'd point to it, but if I put my cursor over that, it's gonna go nuts. But it automatically goes to it. Wait, this is the wrong one. There, now you see it. <laughs> okay. So that's really easy. I didn't even know that feature existed till recently. I feel really stupid. So now we need to make a physic. I like doing this better in the old PMD editor because it automatically moves it to the bone you attach it to. This one doesn't, but, um, yeah. Dang it! You piece of crap of a computer. Stop being crappy. Okay, so, like, paste. Make sure to turn it into a physical body. It's done there, so let's make it... Actually, just a little circle and maybe, nah. I get tiny. Anyway. Dang it, I hate you. You stupid computer, stop being crap. What the hell? I'm not rebooting it, it's like 12 a.m. Um. What am I doing? I can't find the joint. Oh, it's not a joint. I can't see it, it's too freaking light. Stupid noob. Uh. There, it should be a bit more visible now. Fuck, I need to zoom in. This ought to be fun. I can't zoom in! You retarded piece of shit. Yes! 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 Stop! Thank you. But yeah, um... You can move it manually, but since my tablet or something is going haywire... <sighs> yeah, it needs to be smaller. Point one, point one. And It's actually good enough not to be turned in the wrong direction. I can't see with the joints in the way. But you can also do this. Oops. Oops! I hit the right tab for once. And you can rotate it from here too. The bones look weird from this angle, but they're not really glitched. Anyway, yeah. I always put the weight on point five, point nine whoops, too many points. Point nine, zero and zero. It just works. It might be better settings, but this works, so I have no reason to kill it into physics. So now I'll go back to here and attach it. One here, one. Oh. Make sure this is attached to the right one because one time I forgot and it didn't move. And then it moved the upper body. Hmm. So this should work. Let's save it. 1.9. I really have no idea if this is going to work, but the bone is added at least. I wish I knew what was going on with my computer. It's flashing. My mouse, I mean. Uh, load. 
Katsuki, Conan, Vision Fight 9. Okay, it's being retarded as usual. I can't even see it, it's too tiny. Yep, the physics are working. It's twitching. I don't even know why I bother to add details. Such a tiny little. I should just move her neck. Oops. I don't Select. Rotate. It's fallen into her head. But yeah, that's the basic idea. I had a little bonus to her hair, too. That was a bit harder. Because I had to separate the layers, and the hair is modded really badly. Oh, I forgot there was a glitch I needed to fix with her neck. I thought I fixed that. <laughs> oh well, they're all getting updated anyway. But yeah. I also added the bones to her chest, but they're twitching right now. Twitch, twitch. I didn't really think that would even work, but yeah. Is it doing it again? Hope it wasn't really. Okay, there. That's it. Um. Um.